morning y'all welcome to another vlog it is friday december 15th and i have a ton of stuff to do today we are going to go christmas shopping maybe do some gift wrapping depending on my time how my time goes but right now we are going to go and make some door county coffee here's the door county advent calendar and can you believe we are already on day 15 oh my goodness i hope we get a nice holiday blend this morning let's see we are not getting a holiday blend today i was just checking to make sure this was the right one because sometimes they come over from the other side you know almond toffee notes of roasted almonds and buttery toffee well that sounds good Ooh, it smells good it smells very much like toffee i don't smell much of an almond smell but the last time i had a toffee flavor um it was really good and the toffee flavor really came through in the brewed coffee so i'm hoping this one will too all right pouring in the water spilling it all over my countertop oh my god <laughs> I spilled so much. Brew now. And while we wait for the coffee to brew, we are gonna consult our magical almanac, which I will link to down in the description box below if you wanna check this out for yourself. I ordered the 2024 uh, copy for myself and I have to go pick it up today at Books A Million, along with my witch's calendar. So today is Friday the 15th. The color of the day is rose. Perfect, because I'm already uh, wearing my moth shirt. I just intuitively knew the color was gonna be rose today. The incense is cypress, which I definitely have, and that's a great like holiday scent, I think, or at least winter scent and the moon is waxing capricorn but it enters aquarius at 12 56 p.m so let me go find my cypress incense so i have this cypress incense wait that's upside down cypress incense from alchemy flame which is one of my favorite um, incense shops on etsy and i will link to it down below in the description box so this is really good high quality incense mm, the cypress smells so good I love all of the evergreen scents as well. I love floral scents and I love evergreen scents, especially in the winter. All right, gonna light it up. And I just cleaned my entire apartment yesterday and I cleaned all the incense ash off of my various surfaces in the living room. And now I'm about to dirty them all up with more incense ash, cause that's just how it goes. I'm gonna go put this in the incense holder and go get some coffee. Cause I have got to get started on my day. It's like 8.30, I think, maybe 8.45 by now. And I've got so much to do today, including editing two vlogs into one because I missed a day of Vlogmas. So sorry, but I just really needed that day to work on personal things. And I'm really glad I took it because I feel a lot better. I got everything done that I needed to get done and it was just, it was necessary. Um, but Vlogmas is still on track and I'm still gonna put out a vlog for each day. But after I finish editing, then I'm, I gotta go to the post office and mail Lodane's gift, pick up my packages, go Christmas shopping. I gotta go to Books A Million, but we're gonna have a great day. I'm so excited to go Christmas shopping, especially for my nieces and nephews. I love buying stuff for them. So it's gonna be super fun. Okay, the almond toffee coffee is done. And I'm gonna pour a glass. I've got my collagen in there using my beautiful holiday mug. I already had some Starbucks gingerbread this morning. Pour a little cream in, give it a little stir. And now we taste. This is Door County Almond Toffee going in. That's pretty good. I like that one. Um, you can definitely taste the toffee flavor. Don't really taste almond very much, but it definitely tastes like toffee. That's a good one. Um, and as always, I will link to the Door County coffees down in the description box below. If you want to check them out, I can highly recommend their holiday coffees. They are very good. It's a little past noon and I finally got the two vlogs in one edited and uploading right now. Oh my goodness. And I got ready for the day. So I'm doing very basic natural makeup, just like I showed in my last vlog. Burt's Bees, Lip, Cary Grand on my face and a little bit of CoverGirl eyeshadow, but nothing nothing special. Um, this is my day going Christmas shopping look. I am later gonna get ready for nighttime because Limbs and I are planning a nice evening together, which I'm not gonna film, um, but I am gonna film us going Christmas shopping today. So let me show you what I'm wearing uh, for comfort on the Christmas shopping vlog. So I'm wearing my moth shirt because the color of the day is rose. And then I'm just wearing some skinny jeans and Converse. All right, that's it. And then um, my black oversized sweater. This is gonna be what I wear. <laughs> to go shopping today. I wanna to be comfortable, reasonably cute, but mostly comfortable. But first, before I hit the road, I have to stop at the post office and mail Lodane's gift and also pick up any packages that I have. So I need to get her gift packaged and ready to mail. Let's do that now. So I have this Amazon box that I have peeled all of the other labels off of, and I am gonna to try to get her gift in here. Now this box is a little bit too big, so I am a little concerned. Um, oh no, the bow came off. So her gift, this is her gift. I'm not gonna tell you what it is in case she's watching this, um, but this is her gift and I'm gonna put it in this 
box, hopefully, and I'm gonna put a whole bunch of packing crap in there to keep it in place. So you can see how much extra space there is in here, but unfortunately I don't have any other boxes that this will fit into, and I've gotta get it out today. So I've got a little bit of packing paper, not much, but I found a bunch of these like, things from another Amazon box that I had. I, I forget what these are called. These little plastic pillow pack things. So I'm gonna cram these in there. Okay, y'all, I think that's gonna be good enough to keep everything safe in there. Found some handy dandy packing tape and I'm gonna tape this up as tight and securely as I can because I wanna make sure this reaches her safely. I'm gonna put a couple layers She's gonna have to work for this, but that's the only way I can be sure that it will be safe. I'm gonna do the other side as well. Just reinforce it a bit. And then across this way too. One more and then I'll feel safe. All right, now I just need to write her address on this and we'll be ready to go. Well, y'all, the post office is packed full of people, so I don't think I'm going to be able to film in here, but I am here. I've got Lodane's gift. I'm about to go in and ship that and see if I have any packages, and then I'll meet you guys back out here in the car. Okay, so I ended up having quite a few packages in there, so we will open those probably tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to it today. Now I'm headed over to Walmart to do a big shop, y'all. I'm going shopping for the kids, so let's go. Oh my god, y'all. Walmart is a madhouse. I had to park way out in the parking lot because all of the spots are taken um so i have a feeling i'm gonna be like elbowing people in the store when i get in here i mean not literally but you know what i mean i think it's gonna be packed because it is friday the weekend before the last weekend of christmas if that makes sense everybody's out here doing their christmas shopping so um I, i'm gonna film what i can and share with you guys what i can wish me luck all right plenty of baskets at least so i guess it's not that bad yet well, I can't help but stop and look at the Christmas candles, you know. I just can't help myself. This is warm apple pie. I want one that smells like Christmas trees. Probably in the green. Evergreen Mountain. Ooh, it smells really good. But these are $10. I don't know if I want to spend $10 on a candle. Y'all, I feel honestly overwhelmed by the amount of toys that there are in here. Like, I don't know what to get anybody. Ah! Oh. So, my nephew um, likes cars. So, I'm trying to find him something car related. But there are so many toys. So, my niece Penelope loves these, like puppy corn surprise eggs um she has one at my house that she plays with when she comes over but i think i'm gonna get her another one i don't know which one yet there's a lot of them okay i think i'm gonna get her the fairy corn princess surprise it has over 35 princess surprises inside and look it's got like a wings on it and a tiara oh yeah i think she's really gonna like that and then for olivia i'm getting her this baby doll that comes with extra clothes and bottle and like toy she loves dolls with accessories so i'm getting her this whole baby doll set it's so cute so i think i'm gonna get connor a remote controlled car um i found this one which looks pretty cool it has a controller with it i think he'll really like that age six plus yeah he's in first grade so that should be perfect they do have a lot of cars over here but i think i'm gonna go with that one i feel like i've been wandering around the toy section for an hour and i only have three toys picked out um and i still have three more kids to buy something for i'm so out of touch with children i don't know what they want i'm trying my best okay i think i'm gonna get um, this little bear for my niece, Karma, she's just a little baby, so, um, this is 6 to 36 months, and it's supposed to teach them things, and it's interactive, and it's cute, uh, so I'm gonna get this for her, for her toy. So I've got four toys and two more to go. I really want to get my niece, Kaylin, like a little jewelry set, but I can't find one anywhere, so I may have to order hers, and then I still have to get Evie, my youngest niece, something. I have no idea what to get. My brother was like, just get her anything. And I'm like, I need more guidance than that. I don't know what children want. Also, I gave up on toy shopping. These are the toys that I got. And then for the other two girls, I'm gonna order them something. Cause I just didn't see anything I think they would really like. I'm also looking at getting all the kids some coloring books and like activity books because they always ask to draw when they're over at my house. 
So I think I'm gonna get him some of these. They have like some really cute ones for the little girls. They come with stickers and stuff, glitter stickers. Aw, it's cute. I think they would like those. Okay, I got a variety of coloring books for the girls and one for Connor too. Dinosaur attack. So I just have to get some crayons. And now I'm going to the kids' clothes and I wanted I would like to get them all like a little outfit, new outfit of clothes if I can. So I'm gonna be looking around. They got a lot of cute stuff in here. I did get the sizes for the girls for my sister, but I need the sizes for my brother's kids. Oh my god, y'all look at this little stonewashed Care Bears jacket. That is so cute. I don't think any of my nieces will fit into that. Um, they have a 2T, 2T, no, nope. <laughs> that's so adorable though. Oh, look at these little overalls. These are so cute. Oh my gosh, they have a pink and green and this orange and white. It looks so 70s. It's like crocheted. I'd like to get one of these for Karma if they have one. So I think she's in 9 to 12 months and no, nope. no. Nope. Every time I find something cute, they don't have anything in the girl sizes. <laughs> Just gonna keep looking. For my sister's girls, I did some little mix and match little outfits for them. They're so cute um, for all three of them. And then I think I'm also gonna buy them some of these little dresses because they're so adorable. I just gotta make sure, surely they'll have enough in all their sizes. Here's one in 12 months that I'm gonna get Karma. Look how cute, little winter dress. I'm gonna get this one for Penelope. It's so cute. And I'm gonna get this one for Livy. It's got little corgis on it. So I'm definitely gonna have to do another shopping trip because I don't have my brother's kids clothing sizes yet. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to do one more before Christmas, but um, right now I'm moving on from the kids stuff. Okay, now I am looking for crayons to go with the coloring books. And I think I'm just gonna get one pack of crayons that they can just like keep at my house instead of buying them all separate crayons. But I only see these 24 packs. Where are the big packs? They don't have any big packs of crayons, so I think I'm gonna order crayons as well. Um, I'm gonna have to do an order soon because Christmas is in like 10 days or something. Okay, y'all, I think I am shopped out and I didn't get anything except for the kids stuff and some candy bars for my brother, but I think I'm done. I think I'm just gonna go home, figure out what I still need to get and order everything on online because this sucks. <laughs> Now I remember why I usually try to buy everything online instead of actually going to the store. Um, I still have two more things that I have to get for limbs, but not at this store, and I don't have to get them today. I also have to get something for my friend Abby, and I have two ideas for her, um, but I have to go downtown to get one of them, so that's going to have to be another day next week. Uh, right now, I'm just going to take what I've got and go back home. So here is my cart <laughs> filled with children's things and candy. <laughs> It was fun picking out the kids' toys though. So yeah, I'm just ready to get out of here. What do you guys do? Do you shop online or in the store? Cause the store is a madhouse and I don't know why I thought this would be a good idea. I thought it would be fun to like film and get out and do something, but now I'm just like regretting it. Cause it's so packed in here. There's people everywhere. I had to go to the garden center just to be able to film without anybody in the aisle. Oh y'all, I am so glad to be done. I am loading all the stuff into the car right now. And I'm so glad to be out of there. Let me tell you, I am not doing that again. Everything else is gonna definitely be ordered online. But I am happy with the things I was able to pick out. Oh my God, I can't even lift this up. Cute little baby doll. All right, I got a carload of shit now. <laughs> and I am on my way back home. Uh, I've got to unload all this, get it put up somewhere until I'm ready to wrap it. I made it back home and I got all of the stuff unloaded out of the car. Oh my gosh, it was a lot carrying those big ass toys up the stairs, <laughs> but I got them all. And uh, I'm not gonna wrap anything today. I'm gonna save that for like a weeknight. What I'm gonna do for the rest of the vlog is to open the subscriber packages that I picked up at the post office earlier. And my brother did finally text me back his kids clothing sizes, but I had already left Walmart. So I think I'll just order something for them similar like um, he has two little girls, so I want to get them, like, the same little dresses that I got for my sister's girls. Um, I'll, but, you know, different style, different pattern and stuff. But I can probably order those since I know exactly what I'm looking for now. Okay, so this first... Oh, no, I forgot to go to Books A Million! Shit! I knew I was forgetting something. So I, I have 96 hours to go pick up my order from Books A Million, so I guess I can go tomorrow after I finish streaming. Damn it. So the first package that I got here is an Amazon package. I don't know who it's from yet. It looks like it might be a record or a calendar. I'm not sure. That's what it feels like. Extra thick, flexible. Oh, it's cutting boards. Oh my God, it's cutting mats. Somebody felt sorry for my tiny little bamboo cutting board and they sent me some flexible cutting mats. Uh, thank you so much. There's, I think three of these in here. 
of four. Set of four color-coded quality pla thick plastic mats. Awesome, non-porous, odor resistant. Cool, thank you. Now I can chop things decently for my Christmas dinner. Thank you so much. Uh, Kayla, hey Cindy, sorry this is late. Walmart apparently had issues delivering it. Hope you enjoy your cutting boards from Kayla. Thank you so much, Kayla. I really appreciate that. I truly do. I'm gonna make good use of those very soon. Okay, this one's heavy. This is another Amazon package. Let's see what we've got here. It says, hey Cindy, this could be an option to go with your beautiful new purple painting. Happy Yule from Marsha. Oh, what is it? Thank you, Marsha. Um, it's purple. Whatever it is, it's purple. I think it's a blanket. Oh my gosh, this is a throw blanket I can put on the couch. I'm pretty sure this is a blanket because I can see like a little fringe on it. Oh my God, it's super soft too. Wow, oh, it's furry. I love this. Oh my God, that's so cool. Is it a blanket? It is a blanket. I was like, is it a blanket or a rug? Oh my gosh, Marsha, I love this. Thank you so much. Yes, this is definitely going on the couch, but now I need to get new throw pillows because my throw pillows are orange and green and they're not gonna match. Um, but that's okay, because I wanna do my living room in purple anyway, so this is a great first step. Thank you, Marsha. I'm definitely gonna put this on the couch, for sure. Okay, next up I have a package from Ashley in Washington. Aw, thank you so much, Ashley, for this very lovely note. I appreciate that. Thank you for watching my videos and streams. Oh wow, it's a big purple fuzzy sweater. Oh my gosh, this looks so cozy. Thank you so much, Ashley. I will definitely wear this in the winter. It's very, um, it's thick. <laughs> and it's like fuzzy on both sides. That's so cozy. Thank you, Ashley. And my favorite color too, that's very nice. Thank you, I truly appreciate that. So next up I have a teeny tiny little envelope um, and I don't know who this is from. It doesn't have a return address on it but it looks like it is a sticker. It's a sticker <laughs> of a dog wearing glasses and pearls with hair. <laughs> Thank you, I think. <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. I just tried to, uh, I just tried to make it bigger by doing this with my fingers, like it was a phone. What the fuck is wrong with me? Aw, thank you for the sticker, whoever that's from. I don't know because there's no, uh, no name on this, but thank you. All right, I've got another Amazon package here. Uh, Merry Christmas, sending love, healing, and positively, positivity for the new year from Christina B. Thank you so much, Christina. Let's see what this is. Self-exploration crystal painting? Hmm. Fluorite and white crystal. I'm not sure what this is yet. I'm gonna have to open it up and see, but if it's made of crystals, you know I'm gonna love it. Okay, so the first thing in the box is this. I'm not sure. Oh, these are what look to be beautiful stickers. Oh my goodness. These are so pretty. This is a wish card linked to self so that you can weave and present the beautiful vision within. Following the text instructions on the back of the card, when your DIY is done, you can place the card in a frame to energize your wish. And then on the back, so on the back it says, I choose to have, I choose harvest, I choose not to be afraid, I am thankful, I have a wish that is. So this is the little wish card. And it says how to use, choose a quiet and undisturbed time to work and keep your awareness focused. Take out the required ore and tools and choose your favorite ore material. Arrange and combine the crystal ores on the white cardboard according to your intuition and preference. There is no limit to the arrangement pattern. You can refer to the following shapes or free play. It is recommended to immerse yourself in the moment and listen to your inner voice during the DIY. When finished, the sage can be lit to clean and purify around the ore and, place or and placed or hung in the space. And then it shows like some little shapes that you can do so there's oh so there's the fluorite and the white crystals there and then it comes with this lovely frame for you to frame your crystal painting i love that that is so cool i'm gonna do this and so i can hang it over there with my other growing wall of art thank you so much christina that is such a cool gift um i've never heard of this before but it's awesome and i'm definitely gonna do it i will probably do it on a vlog or if not, I'll at least show you guys what I've done because that's a really cool idea. So next up we have a package. It's not an Amazon package, but I'm not sure what it's from. Oh, wow, is this a, what is this? Is this a dress? Oh my God, it is. It's a dress. 
That's a really pretty dress. Um, is it a, is it a dress or is it like a nightgown? Cause it's really lacy. <laughs> I think it's a dress, but you can see the top part is all lacy in the sleeves and it's kind of a dark blue color. The bottom of it, I really like the bottom hem. I hope you can see that. The bottom hem is like lacy and kind of, I don't know, um, asymmetrical. Wow, that's a really pretty dress. Thank you to whoever sent this to me. It has no name or anything attached to it. Um, I'll have to try that on and let you know, but thank you. Finally, I've got one more package here. This one is also an Amazon package, if I can. I hate these kind of boxes. Whoops. You know these kind of boxes that Amazon gives? I don't know why, but they're so hard to open. It has some kind of instructions on it that I can't even understand. I don't, I don't know how to get into this box. Oh my God, somebody bought me an omelet pan. <laughs> that is awesome. Look at that. It's a uh, Italian frittata double omelet pan. Oh my God, that is so cool. I cannot wait to try this, y'all. Next time I make an omelet, I'm gonna have to try this out. And this didn't come with any name or anything on it, so I don't know who got it for me. Let me know if it was you. Um, that's a really sweet gift and I really appreciate it. And that was it guys. That was all the packages I got today. Thank you so much for these lovely gifts. I appreciate all of them. Um, I never feel like I deserve it when you guys send me things, but I truly appreciate it. Thank you. So now it's getting close to about four in the afternoon and I've, I'm going to clean all this up and I've still got some laundry to do and a couple more chores around the house. And then I am going to go take a bath and start getting ready for, um, the night the night time. <laughs> so I think I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. Thanks so much for joining me today for Christmas shopping. And thank you so much for the packages. And I hope you guys are having a great holiday season so far. I am despite I've had a couple of, a couple of moments of sadness, but overall I'm very happy and doing well. So thank you so much for your support and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.